Hey guys, this is Mark Yoke again and welcome back to my channel. Thanks a lot guys for the huge support for my latest videos on the POCO M3, okay, which is right here, as well as the Redmi 10X 5G, okay, and also the Redmi 9. So today, as per requested by some of you guys, I'll be doing a gaming test on the POCO M3 as well as the Redmi 9, okay, because these two phones are actually quite similar in terms of specs and also the price point. So the three games that I'll uh, frequently play are Asphalt 9, okay, PUBG, and also Temple Run. So I'm not really a, such a huge gamer. I'm actually a noob, okay. <laughs> I won't give any comments on which device is better in gaming. So you guys be the judge. So I'll be playing each game for about four to five minutes on each device. So this video would be a bit long but I will try my best to give you all an actual overview okay just to show you you guys on the performance of each phone on different games so before I start the gaming test let me show you guys that I re updated my POCO M3 and read me now to the latest firmware okay so as you guys can see here, it's already updated to the latest firmware. So for some reason, my Redmi 9 is still stuck at MIUI 11, whereas the POCO M3 already has MIUI 12 out of the box. But after I got it for about one week, I already got two firmware updates for the POCO M3. So for, without further ado, let's get started. I'll be playing all the games on POCO M3 first, okay? And only continue with Redmi 9. So let's go. So guys, the first game would be Asphalt 9. This is actually my all-time favorite. So before we start the game, let me show you guys that. Okay, this game is actually set at performance mode. Okay, so there's no uh, 30 or 60 frames per second uh, uh, button to be pressed. So this, this one is actually the performance mode. Uh, it's supposed to give a better smoothness while playing the game but it will reduce the uh, graphic quality. So I have to choose this mode is because, um, uh, I mean, when I choose default and also uh, high graphics, the game will actually be choppy. So I hope that in uh, future uh, POCO M3 updates, I mean, you actually improve the performance. So let's get started. Let's start with a simple one. So there's no music on this uh, video for this game because to avoid uh, copyright issues. So I'm not so sure whether you guys can see, but from my eye, the graph the graphic is actually pretty uh, low quality. Okay. So it's actually quite uh, smooth, but it's just that uh, in terms of graphic, it's not really that nice to, to be look at. Okay, let's start with another other games. But the loading is actually uh, considered fairly fast. So the Aston Martin is actually my favorite.
bit choppy there during the first start. Hopefully it's playable. Yep, sudden there was a sudden sudden drop on the frame rate, yep. So making it uh, a bit hard to be played. But just bear in mind that actually S9 is a high graphic intensive uh, game which require a lot of processing power. Yep. Reach the finish line safely. Okay, at least I won. So let's try another game with S9 before we move on to uh, PUBG. Hopefully the graphic performance will be better here. Yep, there was a drop, frame drop just now. But still okay, it's still playable. Hopefully I won't lose this round. It's actually a bit different playing under the camera. Okay, this is actually my first time doing gaming tests. So, hope you guys would uh, actually like it. Yep. So guys, let's move on to PUBG on this, this device. So I'm on... PUBG right now, okay, still on the POCO M3. So as you guys can see that uh, for this uh, PUBG, the setting for POCO M3 is the max is actually smooth high, okay, and uh, you can choose balance, okay, and that's all. You cannot choose other beyond balance. So my graphic setting is actually smooth high, okay, and anti Aliasing is actually on. Okay, so let's get started. OK, 
Okay, it's actually quite smooth. Moving left to right. So the gameplay on actually PUBG is actually uh, is actually much more playable. Alright. Yeah. Lucky day. Who else? Who's next? I'm actually new to this game, so but to me, it's actually quite enjoyable using this uh, phone to play. Mm -hmm. Of course, don't expect the graphics to be as uh, great as like uh, the Mi 10T Pro, Mi 10 Pro, Mi 10. Okay, that's nice. Who else?
worry, buddy. Okay, so let's move on to the next game, which is Temple Run. So let's move on to the next one, Temple Run. It's actually fairly smooth on these uh, simple games. So just to show you guys that if you play simple games like Temple Run, Candy Crush, Subway Surfer, you won't have any problem. I wish that they could come up with Temple Run 3. So that's all for my gameplay for this device. So let's move on to the Redmi 9. So guys, now it's uh, Redmi 9's turn. Okay, as you can see here. So before I start the gameplay, just to show you guys that. Okay. This is under performance mode also because this phone is really at least my unit is not compatible for S49. It's very choppy, it's very jittery. Okay. Okay, let's start with the game gameplay. After you guys see, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So as usual, there's no music on this, uh, there's no sound on this game. Okay, due to copyright reason, just I want to avoid copyright issue. Okay, can you guys see that? It's already jittery and lag and started there. Can you see that? That's what I'm saying. I totally can't play this game on this on this device. Which is actually a bit unfortunate. So comparing to the Poco M3, I couldn't play it. Okay, let's move on to another one. Okay, let's choose my favorite car. Even the loading also takes quite a long time okay yep can you see the jittery there the yep totally false close
that's what I'm saying. I mean, in my previous video, that S Pod Nine is totally not playable on my device. I hope that it's only me who is actually facing this problem. Okay, uh, because some of you guys say that uh, I mean the Helio G80 processor on this device, you know, mistaken G80, is very powerful. So, but unfortunately, I can't play. Okay, let me start with another one. Okay. So if you guys really appreciate my uh, effort and video, I mean, would uh, really please me if you guys can uh, subscribe, like and share this video and all my other videos. Thank you guys. See, can you see the lag there? Oh my God. So this video is actually recorded um, at 30 frames per second and also this actually this game is actually at 30 frames per second so you guys can see live okay actual frame rate yep so that's why I'm saying this game is not playable can you see that another false close so I'll move on to the next game the PUBG so right now we are in PUBG, okay, on the Redmi 9. Okay, so the settings that we can set is actually the most smooth ultra, balance, okay, HD, impressive, but no HDR and above. So I'll be playing this game using smooth ultra, okay, and anti-aliasing on and okay. It's actually very smooth. Nice. Very smooth, there's no starter. Totally different from the S Pod 9 that I played just now. I mean, I played uh, PUBG on the Redmi 9 before, so far it has been very pleasant experience. Hopefully there will be more queue on my side before I end this video. I mean, I'm a noob in this game, totally. I'm not a. Uh, so, if you guys. If I play it badly, just don't laugh at me. Yikes. Wasted bullet. I mean, I've just been I've just been playing this game for like um, two to three weeks. Just started.
Well, thanks for the leaf. Very fluid uh, graphic transition. Well, the more the merrier. Well, the gangs are all here. I wonder where we are going. No. I think I'll just be on my own. Nothing here. Where are the enemies? I can't see them. Ah, you got the cue. Good for you, man. So, that's all for the PUBG gameplay on the Redmi 9. So the next one is actually Temper Run. Very smooth here on the Redmi 9 for this game. So, as I said before, for these two phones, for light gaming, it's totally not a problem. This game is actually a classic game. I mean, it never gets old. Whenever you are bored, I mean, if you need just need a casual game to really uh, waste some time, okay, this game is always a, a good choice.
Yep. Lost the game. So, what do you guys think about the gaming performance of these two phones? Okay. I mean, as mentioned before, these two are actually budget level entry phone. Okay. I mean, with 500 ringgit or less, uh, you guys can actually get a lot of things. I mean, with these two phones, either one. Uh, decent camera, decent gaming performance. Um, what else? Uh, great speakers. I mean, for the Poco M3, dual speaker setup. And I mean, for it's really value for money for these two. So for you guys, information, okay, on the 12th, 12, 12, the 12th 12 of December. Uh, so there will be another flash sales whereby you can get the Poco M3. Okay, from only Ringgit Malaysia 499 okay, on Lazada so I mean uh, I'll leave the links at my description below so you guys can check it out so don't forget to purchase I mean if you guys have been thinking about this phone for the past one or two weeks so it's actually a worthy uh, entry level phone I mean with great battery life so this is my first time doing the gaming tests on my channel so hope you guys like it and thank you guys for all the great support and take care please like and share and subscribe if you like my content and stay safe peace